A VGA frame buffer is a video core. I'll refer to it as a frame buffer for short. So it's a video core. However, it's a little bit different than the other video cores that we've seen in here. So it's different than a mouse sprite. It's different than a test pattern because its functionality is a little bit different and its purpose is a little bit different. So we'll place that video core in here and I'll tell you that its main purpose is to store information about a single frame, a single VGA frame. So what's a frame? Well, it's a frame is actually just um, a, a full frame or a full screen that we can display on a, on a screen. And usually for a VGA resolution, it's 640 by 480, which means that we have 640 pixels by 480. So we have a bunch of pixels in here. So this particular core will do, will do the following. It'll actually store information for each particular pixel, for each pixel, pixel by pixel to all of these, which are about 300, 307,000 um, pixels. So it stores this information and then it allows a couple of functionality, a read and write. So let me explain that. So we have the video core in here and we know that the pixel stream is going through one video core at a time in cascading order all the way to the VGA screen or the VGA monitor. So this particular frame stores information about a like or, or this particular buffer store video core stores information about a particular frame, a full frame. So the X and Y gets generated, it gets sent in here, and then we know which pixel we're interested in, say this one, and it will actually just place it on its output and it will send it through the other video cores. Of course, if the other video cores are being by bypassed, you're effectively showing that particular screen on the VGA monitor. I mean, if you're doing any processing, for example, a mouse or something, you'll see a mouse pointer overlaid on top of that. Okay, so we have what we call a read pipe. So that read pipe appears in here because you continuously read from that particular buffer and you put it on the pixel stream. This particular video core also allows the CPU, which is in here, the microcontroller, to write into it. And it allows it to particularly modify a specific pixel location. So it'll allow the processor to modify it pixel by pixel. So the processor can just doesn't need to generate all the pixels for it. Like if it wants to send a full frame, it doesn't need to generate all the pixels all the time and feed it to the VGA system or the video system. All it has to do is just go to the buffer at a specific time and just put it there and that's it. Then the buffer will take care of sending this information continuously. So what I'm saying in here is the basic build for this particular buffer, it's actually like a FIFO buffer, but it's a dual port one. It allows us to read continuously from it and to write at a specific time. The reading and the writing happens at completely different rates, and that's where um, the peculiarity about this video core in here. So the read, we'll, we're going to call it through a read pipe because the read happens continuously. So we generate the X and Y, and it continuously outputs something at the output in here. It takes the X and Y from the global frame counter, and then it generates a pixel. And we know that this particular continuous process happens at a very particular time. So we know that an X and Y comes in here, it should generate that particular value for that particular pixel after two clock cycles. And that conforms with the other, uh, with the other video course that we've seen before. However, writing, which we're going to call it a write port, actually can happen sporadically and not a very specific or continuous rate. So a, a processor just might go and burst and, and write like maybe a row value and then that's it. It just doesn't have to worry about it. The video system will actually take care of displaying it all the time. So the implementation of this particular frame buffer is straightforward. It's just basically the, uh, the implementation is just a memory module that allows me a read and a write, but the complexity comes from the buffer size and the data rate, like how much we write and like how fast should we write it and so forth. 